Are you heading to Vilnius in the near future? Or perhaps are you just curious as to what Lithuanian food is all about? Well, then you've come to the right place. In my mission to document the five senses of cities worldwide, I'm taking you to the Garden City of the Baltics in the latest episode of my Tastes of the World series. Here are the foods that I tried in Vilnius, Lithuania that I think define its culinary experience. Cheese curd dumplings. Cheese curd dumplings are, well, exactly what they sound like. Little steamed balls of Lithuanian cheese. I chose to accompany mine with a sweet cream sauce, so it tasted more like a dessert than anything else, but you could also do this with gravy, which I imagine is similar to poutine. Potato dumplings with meat. Moist, large potato dumplings stuffed with tender, juicy meat and drizzled in bacon chunks and its grease this is a Lithuanian staple, and a delicious, hearty one at that. I found this on Pilia Street at Cat Pedel. Fried bread with cheese. Y'all, this stuff slaps. It is so good. Deep fried bread with melted gruyere topped with parsley, it's a classic Lithuanian beer pairing. So, naturally, I accompanied it with a dark Bolfas Engelmann lager. Cold beet soup. This cold soup is as pink as cold medicine or Pepto-Bismol, but it tastes remarkably green. Filled with beets, sour cream, and herbs, this thick Baltic staple came with roasted potatoes. Traditional minced meat dumplings. Well, dumplings are pretty popular here if you can't tell already. Steamed and filled with minced meat, moist and squishy, these dumplings came with soured cream and were topped with herbs. Lithuanian tree cakes. Basically like shortbread, but in the form of a tree, you can find these at several cafes, and if you're like me, you can just unwrap it and start having it right then and there over a morning cup of coffee. I only spent a few days in Vilnius, and these are just a few of the must-tries that you'll find that really capture that overall taste of the city and, further, the Lithuanian culinary scene as a whole. And it's far from a comprehensive list. That said, I am certain I missed plenty of the defining eats in this tucked away garden city in the Baltics, so share your favorites and recommendations for me and for one another in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.